Undercover Boss. Undercover Boss is a TV show where different bosses work undercover. They want to know more about their workers and about problems in their companies. In episode one, David Clark, the manager of a big hotel chain, is working undercover for a week in one of his hotels. Episode one summary, Monday. David says that he's a new worker and that his name is Andy. The other workers don't know who he really is. He usually wears a suit, but today he's wearing jeans and a t-shirt. He's working in the kitchen. He's washing the dishes. The people in the kitchen usually work eighty hours a week. One of the ovens isn't working. But David thinks that the food is good. Tuesday. Today he's working in the bedrooms. Next week there is a hotel inspection. The workers are repairing things that are broken, but only in the rooms for the hotel inspector. They aren't repairing things in the other rooms. David isn't happy about this, but he can't say anything. Wednesday. Today, David is working in the restaurant. He's serving breakfast. He's wearing a white jacket and a hat. The waiters and waitresses always work very hard. Thursday. David is cleaning rooms. The workers only have fifteen minutes to clean a room. David is working very hard. He's very tired. Friday at the end of the week, David says to the workers, "I'm not Andy. I'm David Clark, your boss." The workers are very surprised. He tells them about his experience and asks them to make some changes. He also helps individual workers and gives the very good ones more money. David thinks going undercover is the only way to really discover what is happening in a company. Hey Lucy, I'm trying to study, and you're making too much noise. It isn't noise; it's Beethoven. I'm practicing. I have a school concert tomorrow. You can study downstairs. I can't. Jake's playing a video game. What about the kitchen? No, Mom's cooking dinner, and she's listening to the radio. It's impossible to work in this house. A nine-year-old metro girl. Paul, come here. Yes, dear. What's the matter? What's happening next door? Why is there dog barking? I can't hear the radio. They're having a party in the yard. Not again. Can you go and talk to them? Yeah. Okay. It's their second party in three weeks. Oh, hi, Paul. Jack, it's Paul from next door. Come in. We're having a party. It's my birthday. Oh, um, happy birthday. Thanks. Would you like a drink? Actually, I want to talk to you about the noise. Sorry. The noise. It's very noisy. Yes, we're having a great time. Do you want a soda or a glass of iced tea? Oh, well, yes. Okay, a soda, please. Here you are. Come and meet our friends. Hey, everyone! Say hello to Paul. He's our neighbor. Hello, hello Paul. Paul. Hello. Do you want to dance, Paul? Edward Gamson lives in Washington D.C. A few years ago, he and his friend Lowell decided to go on vacation to Granada in Spain.
Edward wanted to visit the Alhambra, a famous palace. They researched flights online and booked tickets for the two of them. Their tickets were expensive, but Edward decided to spend extra money on first-class seats. On the day of their flight, they arrived at Dulles Airport and parked their car in the long-term parking lot. Edward and Lowell checked in for the first part of their trip. They traveled safely to London, changed planes at Heathrow Airport, and settled into their second flight. Twenty minutes into the flight, Lowell looked at Edward with surprise. Edward, I think we're going west and not south to Granada. Hmm. Let's ask the flight attendant. Excuse me, why aren't we going south to Spain? Spain? We're not going to Spain. We're going to Grenada, the island in the Caribbean. The Caribbean? But I booked tickets to Grenada, Spain. Let me check your ticket. Oh, I see. I'm really sorry, but your ticket isn't for Grenada, Spain. It's for Grenada in the West Indies. No, it can't be. I'm very sorry, but it is. Look, it clearly says Grenada. It's spelled correctly. I don't believe it. Edward, did you check the airport when you booked? Well, no, I didn't. I was in vacation mode and I didn't think about it. Ugh. What are we going to do? When we land, you need to book new tickets to fly from Grenada in the Caribbean to Granada in Spain. Oh.